Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More, and we're back with another fix and flip video. Um, bought this house from the MLS again, just purchased it last week, so we'll show you the inside, outside, what we're gonna do to it, and all the numbers on it. Uh, make sure you check out investormore.com for more information on all my flips. Check out my fix and flip scoreboard, which shows our properties, the numbers, what we buy them for, fix them up for, and before and after videos. Um, so yeah, this one we got from the MLS. It was listed for $229.9. Came and saw it the first day it was listed. Offered $234.5. So offered above list price just to try and get it before anybody else could make an offer. And we did end up getting it under contract for that price before they got any other offers. It is in Windsor, Colorado, which is a very hot market. Very hard to find any houses for less than 300,000, let alone low 200s. So this one does need some work. Uh, if you saw my last video on the house, it was really trashed. Looked like it smelled bad. This one smells bad. <laughs> this one doesn't look like it smells bad, but it smells like smoke. Um, pretty intense. But you can see the some design features, arch, hardwood floors that were actually painted over, so not sure we can save those, but it has a hardwood in the kitchen. Big kitchen for a house this age. And then it's got the two bedrooms. One right here. And it has newer windows, which is nice as well. One thing you'll find missing in this room is a closet. So we'll have to put a closet in somewhere to make it a legal conforming bedroom. The bathroom, nothing fancy, so we'll do have to do some work in here. Redo the tub, new vanity. And then the other bedroom. Interesting door handle, but the doors are actually in pretty decent shape. And this is what they're calling the closet here. So, not much. Okay. Not a big house, but like I said, values in Windsor are super high. Does have a full basement. Walk into your laundry room. Hot water heater room, which is not amazing, but Probably won't change that too much. Um, something to look for whenever I'm looking at these flips is one, the wiring. So you can see some of that's old knob and tube wiring. Some of it is a little newer. But we'll definitely probably have to do some wiring work. And you want to look at the plumbing. So this pipe right here, that's copper. That's good. Galvanized is bad. And you can see this right here, that is galvanized. I'm trying to look, yeah, that sure looks like galvanized. You can see those are galvanized. What the galvanized does is over time, it'll rust and actually corrode enough so it'll block the pipes and you'll have chunks of metal, orange water, all kinds of nice stuff coming out of your faucets. So that's why you usually have to replace the galvanized pipes in these older homes. And you don't have to replace them with copper, you can replace them with the PEX, which is the stuff right here. The plastic stuff, that's perfectly fine, but it is still pricey, tearing it all out, installing it, all that stuff. Luckily, Nikki's husband, who's my project manager, is a plumber, so that helps us out a ton on these repairs and different things. And I just noticed it, but that's a shower right there. <laughs> I didn't see that before, so. Sweet, and there's your drain right there. So, even got the start of a bathroom down here. Look at that. All right, so, it's actually a pretty decent basement for a house this old. The windows are above grade, has closets down here, but, Definitely can't have your furnace in the middle of a bedroom, so we're gonna move that furnace or block it in, change the access to it, and make this a bedroom. And then this room right here already has a closet as well. So it can be a bedroom too. 
the wood burning stove. We might just take that out. Um, probably doesn't add a whole lot of value. Here's kind of the family room, this area, and you can see, you know, the panel's been updated at some point, which is nice. Has real breakers, doesn't have fuses, anything like that. But we could see before, some of those wires look like they're older going into it too. So we'll have that all checked out. I am not an electrician. I do not pretend to know how everything's done. So we trust our subs, those guys, to do all that. And I don't know if you'll be able to see this. But this room, does it have a light? Maybe? No? Is actually outside. So it's kind of like a cellar vegetable. There we go. Lots of cobwebs everywhere I'm walking into. But this is actually outside the house, so stay cold. And who knows, people use it for canning, other weird stuff. All right. Wipe all the cobwebs off me. I'll take a peek out back. Right there is that little room we were just in, the kind of storage cellar thing. It does back up to kind of commercial stuff, but I don't think that'll affect value too much. Any building there? I don't think I've even been in this building or saw it before. Oh, hey. Chickens? Who knows what they did in there? Oh. The roof is in good shape. All right. <laughs> and the garage, which you can fit cars in, but not trucks. I actually don't have the key for it right now. I need to get that. But I don't know if you'll be able to see. If you look in there, the roof is shorter than I am. So you're not going to fit any trucks in there, but you might be able to fit a car. All right, so that's the house. Um, we'll be replacing the kitchen, bathroom, Fixing up the basement, adding closets. We may or may not add a bathroom downstairs. We'll think about that. Outside paint, obviously the roof looks okay. The furnace and hot water heater actually look okay, but we might have to move them around a little bit. And we're probably looking at 35,000, maybe 40,000 to do everything. We're hoping it'll sell for around 320. I know a lot of you may think that's crazy, but like I said, the Colorado market is crazy and Windsor is actually priced higher than Greeley where I do most of my stuff. And um, there's almost nothing in that price range here. That's the property. If you liked our video, please give us a thumbs up. Leave any comments. I'll try to respond to them as quick as I can. And we'll have an after video as soon as this one's done. So make sure you subscribe to get notifications of our after videos before videos, complete house flip videos, and real estate advice videos as well. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll have more videos coming up soon.